Good evening. This is Ken Long from Tortoise Capital, July 30th, 2009. Uh, we're going to take a look at the second of four intraday case studies that derive from uh, last night's uh, market assessment. Uh, last night we took a look at the oil sector and identified that it was, of all the sectors, uh, the most oversold and that on a broad index like that or a commodity area, being oversold on a 10-day basis uh, is an indication of a potential turnaround that could be lucrative. And so our general strategy is to wait for evidence of reversion to the mean, the, in other words, a price reversal, and then buy like the second mouse. Now, because we're interested in oil, we're also interested in double leveraged oil ETF, whose symbol is DXO. And so this is DXO on a five minute chart. So quick summary, we identified oil as oversold last night and therefore I'm prepared to go long at evidence of a price reversal. So this morning uh, we see uh, DXO gap up significantly, uh, almost a 5% gap up. Just like the broader market, it sells off sharply for 15 minutes, finds support, and then we see our first green candle. In this case, we're prepared to buy a penny above uh, the previous red candle. And I put in a uh, uh, initial stop or an I stop of 10 cents. Now the, the stop, the 10 cent stop is actually the lower red line, but because um, uh, DXO is so volatile, I'm going to use a full 10 cent stop here instead of tucking it up as, as closely uh, as a penny below. Um, it's, it's possible to, to go a little crazy on trying to engineer your maximum position size. So I'm very reluctant in a leveraged ETF to use uh, less than 10 cents trailing stop. And remember, we're buying on evidence of momentum, and so we should uh, 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 be able to move to no-lose pretty quickly if this thing actually starts to unfold. And so uh, in, in the event, uh, it actually does. Uh, in the next five minutes, it bursts up a couple, uh, a couple times, and at the yellow line, we're able to move our stop from um, the initial stop up to the break-even point. So once again, with less than, uh, less than 10 minutes of open risk, uh, we're able to put ourselves in a position of no-lose, which means that the worst thing that could happen to us here, uh, barring a major catastrophe, uh, is that we're going to scratch the trade. Now, uh, you can see the green line is our entry. I actually use this red line as my initial stop. The price moves to the yellow line. I go to no, no lose. It moves up in our favor some more. Uh, 20 minutes worth of consolidation, but it was holding its price level, and the rest of the market was strong. The entire energy complex was strong. Uh, it finds some strength, bursts north again, gets up to 49.49, which was a penny short of this purple line, which we had mapped out as our uh, ideal profit target, which was a retest of a previous swing high and a previous resistance level. So based on that calculation, uh, by being able to buy at 427 with a dime on the downside and uh, 25 cents on the upside, we actually had a reward to risk potential of 2.3, which is uh, better than what I'd like to see. I like to see minimum two, uh, two to one reward to risk. So that's, that's well within our parameters. Uh, once again, we're going to risk $250 or one bullet with a 10 cent trailing stop. That means my maximum position size is $2,500, uh, 2,500 shares, excuse me. Uh, and at about four and a quarter a share, that's about 11,000 in capital. Uh, so after five minutes of open risk, we're able to move to no lose. An hour later, uh, price has moved to 448 and began to, began to stall at which point we're holding a little over 2R and we're plus 500 on the trade and the rest of the market starts stalling and uh, you say to yourself, all right, what do I do with this open profit? Um, I like being able to put you into that position where you have to suffer like I do. Uh, in this case, I cashed, uh, I cashed my trading position and, uh, and banked uh, 500. So that's an example of a routine oversold uh, second mouse intraday trade in a broad index ETF.
in this case, double leveraged. So um, thanks for your attention.